just a minute. <laughs> oh, Patty, I was trying to think of her name. <laughs> Patty expects this um, to me to be awake after all that beautiful playing and Sharon's gorgeous playing and playing. And she expects me to be awake. Oh, I just wanted to. Then you can open it. <laughs> Praise God. Um, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, thank you. God, thank you in Jesus' name for the gifts and talents you have given to your precious people, Father God. We are appreciating that, Lord. Thank you so much, Lord. Thank you for your peace that you love to give us, Father God, and all your benefits, Father God, and all the wonderful things that you do daily, Father. Help us, to, Father, to realize them more and more. Thank you, Father. I tell you, we are grateful, for Father. Lord, I pray that you, your spirit speaks through me tonight, Father, what he wants the, your children to hear, Father God. And help me leave off what um, I'm not supposed to say, Father. Help me with that, Lord. I appreciate it, Father, and I, and I ask you to give them listening ears, hearts, and minds, Father, to receive what the great teacher, the Holy Spirit, is saying. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Just a little funny here. Okay, these, the first two are the ones where you go, eh? Okay, remember that. Last two are bull bullets and bloopers, okay. First one is, <laughs> the Joneses' new baby was named Julie Lynn after her aunt, Susan Marie. <laughs> our, ch our church will present a series of community classes on various subjects throughout the month of March. The classes offered include how to lose 100 pounds from 7 to 9 p.m. Monday. <laughs> These are both of those, okay. The pastor asked the ladies of the church for the use of their electric girdles for the pancake supper. <laughs> I did laugh more at home. I don't know why. It, I mean, it just tickled me. Okay. Okay. Okay, this is a blooper. The outreach committee will call on people not afflicted with any church. <laughs> I know I did that before, but it's been a while. I thought maybe I could slip back in there again. Praise God. Okay, I'm teaching on Speak Life, which I know we've heard a lot in, in, in this church about speaking. Well, it's important, or else God wouldn't keep saying it. Deuteronomy 30 and 15 says, I have set before you today life and good and death and evil. The Amer New American Standard said life and prosperity, death and adversity. But I'm going to stay with that good because it's going to go all the way through here. Life and good, death and evil. Okay. Or life and bad. Keith Moore says whenever you see evil, just put the word bad in there. It doesn't sound so horrendously evil, you know. Okay. Deuteronomy 30, 19. I set before you life and death, blessings and cursing. Therefore, choose life, that both you and your descendants may live, may have a good life. Okay. Deuter I'm going to set my little foundation here. Deuteronomy 32, it's a miracle that I can pronounce in that um, <laughs> book. Okay. 3246. Amplified. Set your minds and hearts on all the words which I command you this day and teach them to your children. This is, God started way back then, okay. The voice, this is Deuteronomy 32, 47. This is the voice version of the Bible, okay. You can't afford to ignore even one word. Your very life depends on it. I like that. God was trying to get them to recognize the words spoken to them were important. And this is Moses talking to them, okay. Choose life. That is our God-given choice. It is our choice. Now, my Matthew Henry commentary says, Those who desire life 
with, and then in the Corinthians it says, good blessings and happiness. Okay, so I'm going to stay with them. Good blessings and happiness. Or death, evil or bad, curses, dread and misery. Okay, so we don't want that. Okay. Now Jesus said in John 10.10, 10, you all know that. Okay. He says, I have come that they may have life abundantly. Okay, let's go back to life. Life is good, happiness, blessings. Okay, and now I'm going to add abundant. Good, happiness, blessings, and abundance. Okay, a rich and satisfying life is his desire for you. You know, even when you're going through tribulations, God says, count it all joy and be of good cheer. Just, just remember, but, but stay on good, happiness, blessings, abundant life. Okay. My commentary said, I came to put life into the flock, the church. James 1.17 says, every good gift, that is, let's see now, every good gift, that's life, blessings, happiness, and abundance. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of life. Again, I want I, I want to say that word life. I want to get into your spirit. Life, 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 life. We want life going yes. into everything. Okay. Now, Proverbs 18:21 says, I uh, know y'all know this. Okay. Let's see now. <laughs> Death and life are in the power of the tongue. And those who love it will eat their food. Okay, let's go back. Death. Evil or bad, bad curses, dread, mis misery. Or life, good, blessings, happiness, abundance are in the power of the tongue. Where is it at? It's in the power of the tongue. Okay. Jesus said in John 6, 63, the words that I speak, they are spirit and life. Let's see. Good, blessings, happiness, and abundance. Life. John 14, 6. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Of course, you know when you have Jesus, you have life. If he wants you to get it out, he wants to get it out of you. Speak it. Okay. John 1, 1 and 4. Okay. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Verse 4. John 1, 4. In him was life. In him was good, happiness, blessings, abundance. When you speak God's promises, you are speaking life. Okay. You know, you're all talking. Okay. Faith in the promise is released. You have faith is released by speaking it. You have to speak. I told this one day. I said, I just got a hold of this tongue. And you usually that's me. Him or something like that. And I wiggled and I said, If God is in the now, if you want to relate your faith, you gotta use your tongue. It did work. But anyway. <laughs> Mark 4 14 says, The sower sows the word. Speak the promise, which is releasing your faith. Don't have to worry about the faith. It's releasing your faith when you speak the promise. Water it with praise and thanksgiving. That I just found me a little thing that I didn't even know that said that. Okay. The seed will produce on its own time. Leave it alone. Don't dig it up as Pastor did. Oh, I'm sorry. You had a little plant and kept digging it up and it died. Okay. okay. I did that today. I watered my plants too much. It was really laying over on the side. Okay. Things are, they are responding to your words every day. Things are yes. responding to your words. Amen. Because number one, um, we have the life of us. Love, we have Jesus in us, so we have life. And so when we speak it, it's, it's doing something. It's doing something. Amen. So speak good things to all that surround your life. I used to do that, and then I stopped for a while. There is speaking life, which is the seed, speaking life, good happiness, abundance, and blessings. 
This is speaking life. Well, it's right here. Things always work out for me. Everything I do prospers. Yeah. I have abundance and no lack. If there is a layoff, God's prepared to give me a better job because he loves me because he's my father and he keeps me. Yeah. That's speaking life. You can speak the scripture. You can speak in line with the word. You know, you don't have to go do the scripture all the time. Speak in line with the word. And listen, don't put more faith in the need than you're putting in the seed. I don't know, they just sing your rhyme now. Okay, the promise of God. Okay, I feel like I go that one. Okay, now, speak life words. Remember, Pastor, I mean, um, Pastor, I mean, um, Patty, I'm having trouble with your name. Patty was teaching on this. Psalms 103.20. Bless the Lord, you his angels, that excel in strength, that do his commandments, hearkening to the voice of his word. They hearken to the voice of his word. Okay. Angels are involved in the faith principle of the kingdom. If you are speaking and believing in your heart, then the angels are helping bring to pass your desire that agrees with God's word. Remember that, okay? If, if you say, nothing ever works for me, I'll never prosper, you are just binding your angels. Remember that you're binding your angels. Okay. They hearken to the voice of his word. But you didn't give voice to his word. You gave voice to the enemy's uh -huh. voice. Okay. Speak good things. You are attracting them to come to you. Pastor had a teaching on that. It was so good. I remember that. It was so good. It just, you know, wow, it was so good. Anyways. I wish I could remember all your sermons, but I can't, Pastor. Okay. <laughs> Surround your family, your house, your job, your boss, your animals, everything with life words. I had this, I don't know if I should, I'll put this out there and let's see what you think. Okay. I had this little thing on my refrigerator for a long time and it said, Christ is life. The rest is just details. Can that be? Yes, sir. Can that be? God, listen, this is good, y'all. God said this during our Tuesday, just this Tuesday intercession meeting, right from the Holy Ghost Express. Listen, God said, the angels are here in the prayer room. You do not see them now, but you will see them in the future. In your presence today, there are six angels. Amen. Woo! I'll tell you, every time I read that, I get chills. I'm like, can you glory to God forever? Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. It's a great breaking loose. Yes. Great breaking, breaking loose. We sing a song here at the church, of which I was going to call and ask Patty to do it, but I thought maybe she might do it. I don't know what she did. Okay. Okay. And we haven't sung in a while. I'm putting that out there, Patty. It's called Speak Life. The name of the song is Speak Life. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Here's the words, some of the words. We can turn a heart through the words we say. Look into the eyes of the brokenhearted. Watch them come alive as soon as you speak hope, you speak love, and you speak life. We are supposed to be equipped. Speak life into other people. Amen. Life. Because they're without life. We, um, um, I started to say the heathens. I mean, you know, the... the um, the unbelievers. Okay. Your words of life, which is good, blessings, happiness, abundance, and anything else you want to add that's good, are for other people also. Pastor taught on grace last Sunday. I want you all to get that, that CD, Pastor Taught on Grace. It was so good. I mean, it was so good. Give encouragement. Build up people. Speak life. Speak good into their life. Speak good into their life. Isaiah 3.10 says, Say to the righteous, this is a pure scripture, Say to the righteous, that's us, It shall be well with you. I love that. And God was telling them, Say to the righteous, It shall be well with you. One version says, It shall go well with you. Okay. 
every morning, Ish says to me, going out the door, he says, it shall go well with you today. And then I say back to him, it shall go well. Just put in like, maybe, maybe yes. one little teeny sentence, but that's all I can get out of you yes. right now. Okay. <laughs> I'm okay. 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 <laughs> Psalms 128.2. When you eat the labor of your hands, you shall be happy and it shall be well with you. It's just a, it's just, to me that just lifts me. It's a lifting, well, a lot of scriptures lifts, but okay. This is speaking life. Remember, God said, light and good, and then I just added happiness, blessings, and abundance. So speak life to everything in your life. Yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. I just hope you got it. But you will because the Holy Spirit does it. I don't yeah. think Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen.